Display Mode, Full Screen Most players usually prefer the windowed mode over full screen so they can all tab in and out of Overwatch 2 quickly. While tabbing between windows is convenient, it isn't good for your frames. If you play using windowed mode, your system is forced to render other tabs alongside Overwatch 2, potentially decreasing the overall performance by introducing more latency. Setting your display mode to full screen allows your resources to only focus on Overwatch 2. Target display, best match. Resolution, native resolution. While using lower resolutions can return better results in terms of performance, Overwatch 2 will look noticeably worse if you're not using your native resolution. Field of view, 103. Increasing the field of view generally decreases FPS since it enlarges the total area that players can see. The overall competitive advantage you'll gain from maximizing your field of view will outweigh the cons, however. You can still lower the setting if you need more frames and are out of options. Aspect Ratio, Native Aspect Ratio Like the resolution setting, the aspect ratio should be configured by default, which is 16 to 9 in most setups. VSync, off. Syncing your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate is notorious for increasing overall latency. Considering mere milliseconds can make a difference in Overwatch 2, you'll want to keep VSync off to ensure the lowest latency. Triple buffering, off. Triple buffering is another setting that adds more latency to Overwatch 2, meaning you'll be better off by keeping it off. Reduce buffering, on. This setting aims to lower the overall latency by decreasing the number of pre-rendered frames. NVIDIA Reflex, on. NVIDIA Reflex allows systems to detect and reduce latency, enhancing the overall gaming experience. Display Performance Stats, on. Checking out how your system performs when you're in a match can prove useful in the future. Turning this setting on allows you to get familiar with your frame rates in certain situations, and you'll be able to tell if your performance decreases by just looking at the numbers. Graphics Quality, Custom Texture quality, low. Texture filtering quality, medium, 2x. Local fog detail, low. Fog is an aesthetically pleasing environmental detail that makes the maps look more realistic, but it offers little to the overall competitive experience. Shadow detail, off. Model detail, medium. Model detail changes the quality of the character models. Effects detail, low. Lightning quality, low. As you decrease lightning quality, you'll be able to tell the difference in terms of looks. Anti-alias quality, off. Refraction quality, low. Refraction quality adjusts the quality of light bending for semi-transparent objects. Despite making the game look more pleasant, it's also another resource-hungry setting that may drop your frames. Local reflections, off. Ambient occlusion, off. Alongside all the driver updates and changing the in-game settings, you can also adjust Overwatch 2's priority through the Task Manager. This will be especially helpful for players who are running Overwatch 2 with lower-tier CPUs. To change Overwatch 2's priority level, you'll need to launch Overwatch 2.
Open the task manager and navigate to details. Locate overwatch2.exe and right-click on it. Choose set priority and set it to high. Setting it to real-time usually causes crashes since it pushes the CPU a bit too far.